Hey guys, I want to show you this oak farming script that I wrote. It's not very, well it's not at all self-sustaining. It doesn't produce oak saplings basically, but if you have a bunch of oak saplings saved up like me, because I used to use an arboretum, or if you have a way of producing oak saplings, then this will get you a ton of oak wood, and it's really fast, really efficient. Um, so basically, this room, you need to set up this room for it, and th unless you just do it above ground, but regardless, you need to have a ceiling above it. Mine is just glass because we're underwater. <clears throat> but um, this, first of all, you need this platform of dirt, which is 8x8, um, eight eight. and if you're doing it underground, it's better to have dirt instead of grass, because I believe um, some mobs like pigs and cows will spawn on grass. So with this setup, we haven't had any mob at all spawning in this area, so that's that's good. Um, so yeah, you have this 8x8 eight eight area of dirt, uh, and this room, if you're doing it underground, has to be 8 blocks tall, but regardless, you need the ceiling above it. So after the, you have this 8x8 eight eight, um, of dirt, then if you're doing it underground, you also need to have 2 blocks of clearance from the wall. So and these are the materials that it uses so this first chest is used for oak saplings uh, and the second chest is used for bone meal and it has to be oak trees this doesn't work for any other trees and you'll you'll probably see why um, yeah and so it grabs stuff it needs and this is why it needs to be oak trees is because it builds them right next to each other or plants them right next to each other and oak trees have a property that lots of other ones don't, is that they can they can grow when they're when they're being crowded like this. So other trees they won't grow like this. And um, the reason the ceiling is there, it's eight block. Remember eight blocks of air between the floor and the ceiling. Um, that's to prevent the trees from growing into the huge, grand or great trees with branches. Um, because that, that screws everything up. That keeps other trees from growing. For some reason, it never plants saplings in that spot. And it's always the same spot. My theory is that it's because it's dark. But I don't know why. Oh, you know what it is? It's dark because the other trees are blocking the light from that side. That makes sense now. So you need to probably use a better light source than normal torches also around it. I can probably scoot the torches in too. But um, after it plants 8x8 eight eight, um, of trees, you'll notice, first of all, you, it starts out by grabbing a, sa a stack of saplings and a stack of bone meal. But um, by the time it's done with the 8x8, eight eight, it's, it's done consuming every single one of those. Oh, this is bad. I'm stuck. I'll just go in the little spectating area over here. But after, it, after what I was saying was after it builds the... 8x8, eight eight, then it actually just goes straight into digging. It doesn't need to drop anything because it has an empty inventory at that point because it used all the bone meal and all the saplings. So that worked out pretty nicely. Um, so then it just mines it mines them out like it's doing a mining excavation. It does an efficient move, like th break three blocks, move again, break three blocks. Then after it does that, then it goes up to the second level and it just does it just goes up and six block so it covers six blocks height which is enough because the brand the tree trunks never grow higher than six um, and then the leaves are just kind of left on the side and they'll decay sometimes you get some branches that branch out to the side like this but that's not a problem you can just clean these up every once in a while but it won't prevent any growth so I mean the, the farm trees will still grow along this side but you'll eventually just if you feel like cleaning those up. I don't know if it makes a difference really. Um, about the, the ceiling height, I read on Google, people, I mean I read on the forums, I just Googled it, um, what are these guys doing? He's carrying a cow across the sky. He's putting cows in my house, I know it. Um, <laughs> he knows I'm recording. Um, oh, uh oh, he brought the cow with him. Yeah, anyways, the ceiling, uh, I heard people say in order pre to prevent oak trees from, <laughs> thanks, uh, in order to prevent them grow from growing into great oak trees, then you need to have a ceiling seven to nine blocks high. Well, I tried it with different heights, and it, 
8 is the only one that really works because with 7, sometimes the trees wouldn't grow with the first bone meal, and sometimes with 9 you would get, <clears throat> you would still get some kind of like half great trees. So, 8 blocks of air is a perfect height, and yeah, so this room is 12 by 12 by 8. I actually built this all with a turtle. See, um, this glass, I actually used my turtle to just put down some glass, and then I brought the turtle underneath. I said, excavate 12 by 12 by 8, and that was done, and I put it in the bottom, and I'm like, make a dirt platform, and it did it all. It was pretty cool, because I got all these, like, programs that I wrote in my, in my turtle for all these different, um, all these different things I need whenever I'm out doing whatever. So, I think... Yeah. Apparently, since that one didn't grow, it keeps one bone meal and one oak tree in its inventory, but that's not a problem. At the end, it, it just um, comes back and dumps everything into this ender chest, which at my, it sends everything back to my base. And then it'll stop when it runs out of fuel. It, it, when, once it's at this point, when it's going to start again, it'll check if it has less than 500 fuel. If it, if, it, if it has less than 500 fuel, it'll just stop and say low fuel level. And then also, it'll if there's not enough saplings or not enough bone mill, then it'll stop. It needs 64 of each. Yeah. So... I'll just let this finish running, and then I'll, so you guys can see what one full cycle looks like. I'll go ahead and break these. It's almost done. Now it's just going to come back down. <laughs> then it just dumps them all into this ender chest. grabs another stack of each and does it again. Now once now that this is out, the next time it'll just check and then it'll say not enough bone meal, then it'll stop right there where it's supposed to start. So that's the program. Um just set it up the way I did. So when you start the when you start the program you, you put the turtle in this corner facing this way. So, because it's going to be moving backwards while it plants saplings. It plants a sapling in front of itself and moves backwards, so the whole time it's moving backwards. So make sure you, f you put it like on that corner facing towards the chests. Alright. Well, hope you guys find that helpful. I'll see you guys next time.